I showed this light briefly in a recent unboxing video. I didn't really show you how thin it is actually. I mean, it looks thicker from the when you count those flanges, but without the flanges it's just just a sheet like the other one is. I imagine this must get pretty hot if it's really doing 50 watts. I'm going to have to see what it actually consumes. I don't really want to take it apart because it is waterproof. I'm not sure if I'll get the seal. Yeah, it's going to be in the garage anyway. I'll see if I can get it apart. I don't really want to put too much effort in getting it apart though. Okay, well, that's not happening. Let's skip that. Okay, well, I'm not going to take it apart right now. It doesn't come apart too easily. I imagine if I pried, I can get it apart, but it's supposedly waterproof. I don't really want to break the seal if it's waterproof. You can really see the circuitry pretty well. Some diodes. Okay, there's a bridge rectifier. There's two big electrolytics. So they're, this isn't running off of just pulsed AC. That's nice. Should be a smoother light. That's a real plus, actually. There's two inductors over here, though, so I don't know. Maybe it's pulsed light at, at a different frequency. Who knows? Looks like two inductors. Huh. I hope I'm on camera for most of this. But yeah, real thin little thing. It's hard to say how big the actual LED elements are. I think they're obscured by phosphor completely. I have to see when we light it up again. So the real question is how it does on the kilowatt. Been running a few minutes now, getting a little little bit warm. So we're over 120 volts here, 122. Not bad for a long wire. A few hundred feet away from any telephone poles. Uh, okay, so watts. 43 watts. Not too bad for 50 water. That's not too terrible the way things go with these guys and uh, no power factor must not be too good 69 VA hmm it's quite a difference huh And here's Hertz. And power factor. Yeah, power factor is 0.61. That's interesting. Not very well, not very good for power factor, but <laughs> yeah, she's bright. And here's my barn ceiling. I've got two of the circuits on. I've got three switches for my lights. One controls the outlet in the far back there, one in the middle, and then one at this end. I've got fluorescence plugged into the front and the back light, back sockets, which is how it originally was done. And I started using LEDs to get rid of these guys because they don't work very well in the winter. It takes them a while to get to full brightness. That one in back was flashing e even in this temperature, which is not that warm actually. It's in the 60s maybe. But the one in back finally stopped flickering. This is about as good as they get right now. And so the back front one, middle one off rather. Front one I guess. Back one off. And the floor LEDs. Let's see if I wired this thing right. Bingo! Unlike the other two, it comes on instantly. Well, that's a nice brightness, actually. It's a nice color light, too. It's, uh, yeah. It doesn't have that bluish purplish look the other two do in comparison. Almost a greenish look. That's a uh, daylight, pretty much. Well, that's nice. 
does really well. The uh, the new ones on the left, obviously, where the ladder is, and the one in the middle is a 35 water, which is pretty true to his wattage. And then the one on the right is a 50 water that's actually lasted, unlike all the other ones. It's only one of the three that lasted. And that one, uh, I can't remember what it pulls. It's, I think it was like uh, 39 watts or something crazy. It's not really that close to 50 watts. So yeah, I like this little mini fixture. If it lasts more than 10 minutes, I'll probably buy more of them. Because they're really cheap right now. They're on sale for about 10 bucks. So if they're still on sale when I get back in town, I'll probably order a couple more back on the internet. I'll have to get the internet off here pretty soon. I'm probably going to lose my uh, deal on the internet that I have in the city. Could be slim pickings YouTube-wise in a while here. And now that I'm at the camera, it doesn't really show the difference as much as I'm describing. They all look pretty white. But in real life, the especially the middle one looks kind of purplish in comparison anyway. The one on the right's a little better. Still a little bluish compared to the one on the left, which is almost yellowish greenish in comparison. It's actually a true white though, like I said. It's pretty good white. And now I'll turn the fluorescent lights back on 